Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and this is the new version of Ubuntu, version 7.10, release candidate 1. Uh, this was released very recently. It's called Gutsy Given. I'm going to step you through the installation process. It's uh, very much like 7.04. Shouldn't be too much of a stretch for anyone. So we're going to put it on a test system here, and uh, so you can see how it operates. So uh, let's go. Let's check it out. Okay, as you can see here, this is the uh, very familiar loading screen. We're loading the live CD right now, and once we get into the operating system, we'll uh, show you what happens after that when we actually go to install the OS. All right, here we are in the Ubuntu main screen. Uh, the immediate difference that you'll see is that while you are logged in, it actually labels you as a live session user. This means that you're actually using the live CD at the time, which is good. It's also a network indicator, which is nice. And you'll notice there is a new wallpaper uh, for those that are keeping note of little changes like that. And so all we do is the same as we did before from a live CD is we just double click install. Now what will uh, happen at this point is that it will read from the disk and prompt us to install the operating system. All right. This is the welcome screen. Looks as different as, uh, excuse me, looks the same as 704. It says ready to install, answer a few questions. So we click forward, select our time zone, click forward, uh, select our keyboard layout, which is US English, US English, and click forward. Uh, setting up the partitioner. And uh, in this particular installation, I'm going to use the entire disk and click forward. It's called a, a guided installation. And that's usually pretty quick. And then it asks for your name. So I'm going to put in my name and then it fills in my username. Put in a password. I'll leave the name of the computer is what it gives me and click forward. And then it will say what it's going to do all the uh, installation stuff. If we click the advanced button down here, we can uh, choose to install a bootloader or not. And uh, there's also a popularity contest where it says, partic uh, excuse me, participate in the package us usage survey, but I'm not going to bother with that. So I'll just hit cancel and I'll click install. Now at this point, it's going to install the system. That's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause this here and then we'll come back and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, we've just finished the installation and it says installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. Continue to use a live CD. Uh, although any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved, be sure to remove the CD when restarting the computer. Otherwise, it will start back up using this live CD rather than the newly installed system. That's important to know because some people forget to eject the uh, compact disk when they uh, do a fresh installation like, like this. So I'm going to restart now and in the... Uh, up next, you'll get to see what happens when I'm inside the operating system. Okay, here we are in the default Ubuntu 7.10 desktop. It says there are software updates available. It's the first thing it will do, but before I do that, you notice that it's actually logged in as my username, Rich. And so it doesn't say live session anymore. It says it my actual username. The first thing that you should do is apply the updates. Uh, so I'm going to go do that. If you hover over it, it says how many updates are available. And at this time of recording, it's 93 updates. It will start the update manager. And then show all the updates that you need to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and install those. And it will ask me for my administrative password to do that, which is the uh, user password that I created on the install and click OK. It will then go out to the internet and start downloading all the updates. Should do that in just a moment here. And there it goes. Now if you, uh, you want to check it out you can also uh, open up and see show the progress of the files or whatever. Uh, being this is going to take a little time to download all these updates uh, I'm going to pause here and uh, then we'll be right back and uh, I'll show you what happens afterwards. Okay, even though I have the uh, update manager running here, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because I can still use Ubuntu while it is minimized just so I can show you a couple other features with it. The, the updates are taking a while because their servers are getting hammered right now as they always are when it, anyone ever 
does updates to this. Anyway, I'm going to show you this what this little icon up here does. This is uh, a Beagle search. So it's a desk bar applet, and if you search for anything, uh, this is sort of kind of like Spotlight for uh, Mac OS X. If I search for Firefox, for example, it will uh, it says search for uh, Yahoo and Firefox, search Wikipedia for Firefox. If I scroll down a little bit, there are Actions, which is Launch Firefox Web Browser. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's a nice easy way to find things if you don't feel like hunting and pecking through the uh, applications or through the uh, menus at the top. And I'll go ahead and load a website here. I'll load PCMac.com. Take just a second here. And there is uh, PCMac.com. You'll notice that the uh, it looks a little better in this Ubuntu compared to uh, previous editions. The fonts look a little uh, nicer, a little easier to read, which is good. And uh, let me just minimize this. And uh, there's one other thing I'll show you just really quickly here. I'll go to uh, System and then Preferences and then Appearance. This is actually kind of nice the way that they changed this around. It's for the better. Like for the, the uh, theme, this is actually uh, different from the way they used to do it. And I actually kind of like this. So for example, if I went with the uh, Crux theme, you notice it changed it uh, to a purple look and it uh, changes the colors around. If I go to clear looks, it changes everything to look you know, clear. If I go uh, with the high contrast inverse, again, it'll change everything around to the high contrast inverse. But I will uh, go back to just the regular Ubuntu theme. Also, uh, the tabs on the top also make a lot more sense. If I go to background, here are the uh, wallpaper choices. I'll just pick a different one here. And uh, let me just minimize this out of the way here. I'll just close this to show you. Now my wallpaper has changed to a kind of a leather looking thing. Um, if I go back to appearance, uh, the fonts, uh, they're easier to get to. This is almost exactly the same as the uh, previous 704 and 610. If I go to the interface, uh, menus and toolbars, this is just separated in such a way that makes sense. And also here's a visual effects where uh, you know I have it set to none, provides a simple desktop environment, normal or extra. Now in uh, future videos I will be doing on Ubuntu, I will show some of the more fancy things, but this is just a uh, quickie right now just to show you how to get this thing up and running. So uh, when Ubuntu 7.10 is released, I do suggest go ahead and grab it. It uh, looks good. It uh, Some of the menus are more well designed with the, the user in mind, which has always been a staple of Ubuntu design, and they do it very well. So uh, stay tuned for more videos from us, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Hey.